<laughs> um, I need to know if I'm live. I hope no one else is watching this because this would be really embarrassing. Oh, I am live. Okay. Wow. I hope I'm just a, it's a good thing no one is waiting on us. <laughs> there are exactly zero viewers here. Yeah. And I really hope it'll. No, shit. Does that mean? <laughs> oh, oh, there you are. You're oh. live now. Oh, no. I'm going to um, cut through our intro. All right, here we are. Here we are. I sounded like an old person when I said that. <laughs> Welcome to the VGHD podcast, where we 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 do stuff. Here we are. Oh man, worse. <laughs> oh, Rick, you can't be burping on the stream. Can't be. Hey, oh, no. hey, Rick, can't be. Can't be burping. No, Morty. No, we gotta we gotta talk about the the video games, Morty. We gotta we gotta we gotta we gotta talk about that real real quick. We just oh. the the. There's a PlayStation. Yeah, There's a station where you play all the time. You can play there five times, Morty. It's the PlayStation 5. <laughs> and nobody gets shit by the Xbox. So anyway, uh, let's get on with the news. Yeah, let's get on with the news. Um, first, we have our two panelists. Uh, Insane Cakes, how you doing? Howdy, howdy. And then that was we, weird. I'm not going to yeah, do that again. Howdy. No, that, that could be your thing. You know, you get no. <laughs> You gotta commit to the. I am Woody. Howdy, howdy, howdy. And uh, we have worse with no social media. How you doing? I am worse. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy. howdy. I pulled it off. Yeah. I'm doing I, I good. How about one. you? I want one. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> if he if he gets a howdy, what what? I want one. I, what do I get? Definitely not gonna be my thing. <laughs> you get a rude and tootin' partner. How you doing? <laughs> it's a rude and tootin'. My name is Three Bit. Howdy. Nah. Then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, today no, good yet. we're gonna uh, we're gonna watch the state of play. We're gonna t have an after show and talk about stuff. I think uh, it's fair if we say like up front what our political opinions are. Of no, <laughs> we talked about this. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm ready. Um, uh, no, not what's going on in the world. Uh, but. What is our console war bias? Why did you start it off like that? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh. You could have just said so bias. What, do, do, what, what? What? Why? I could just, just say console war bias, you know? Yeah, but you started. Okay, alright. Yeah. And plus, we, we always get comments about it. I get PMs oh, no. about it, I get more personal messages. Then comments. So that's nice. Why don't you guys just that's comment? Nice. It's, they're, they're too afraid. <laughs> they're too afraid. Yeah, just, you know, face me like a man. I can't even send a DM to myself. I don't even know what's up, man. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we got some cool things we're going to do today. We're going to uh, watch the state of play. Um, we are going to have an after show. But first, a word. From our sponsor. Ooh, sponsors. Yay! So, uh, <laughs> got someone in the chat. Who says PlayStation for the win, Xbox is trash, Sony rules, Microsoft you. <laughs> wow. Is that actually in the chat? That's a creative. Yeah, it's on YouTube. That's oh. that's yeah. pretty vivid. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um what do you guys expect to see in this state of play? Now I think oh well based on, on what I've seen from the the Twitter posts and stuff like that. Um, we are yep. probably going to be seeing PS4 games, um, but they could be lying, right? They could be lying, and maybe a PS5. You're right. They could be lying. They could uh, 
show us a uh, little uh, little box and be like, here, you can put your stuff on there and you put your controller on there. It's like, it's a PlayStation. Now your controller can play in a PlayStation station. And uh, you're just like, wow, give me $500. <laughs> now, do you, uh, what, what games do you guys expect? <laughs> that was ridiculous. What games do you guys expect to see in the, the showcase? We just think about uh, what they announced. Maybe maybe uh, some games that they already announced. Maybe you'll see some gameplay of it. Uh, I don't know. Um, let's go to Insane Cakes. What, do, what games do you well, expect to see? Definitely with no spoilers, uh, the, the Marvel game definitely not going to be on there. Definitely not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I actually didn't really think about it being mostly PS4 games. I'm... Th- I'm th- Probably the Crash Bandicoot game. They're probably going to show more on that, which is probably my most excited one. Um, if they show anything from Assassin's Creed, then that too. But I think they did all of that with the Microsoft. So. Yeah, and that was... Uh... <clears throat> Let's just say I'm not looking forward to that game. All right, what about you, Worst? I still am. <laughs> um, well, since I kept my eyes away from any spoilers at all costs. I actually have no idea what's going to happen. I am kind of like, I don't think they're going to do this, but I remember them mentioning about like a PlayStation VR stuff, and I would actually really like either an upgrade to the current headset or controllers, because right now with uh, the Valve Index and like little knuckle controllers and just like the Oculus controllers in general, the old PlayStation Move controllers are just so like clunky and just like like they work but it's like you can see like other competitors like using far better controllers and i keep hearing patterns about it just like with them kind of experimenting with that and i would love to actually kind of see an upgrade to more modern vr before uh vr kind of evolves again and then someone is behind a bit so i would just kind of like because i've got a psvr and i love it but i am kind of wishing that um sony kept up with that vr more since that seems to be the most successful peripheral and uh, I just hope they do something there before I get a Valve Index. So okay. that's my expectation. Not much. And yep. Nice. Okay. I, yeah. I, I got. I got a prediction, real quick. Yeah. I've been. I just realized I've been seeing a lot of these types of games where they're starting to take the whole Zelda Breath of the Wild aesthetic. <laughs> I'm calling it. There's going to be a game with that same look. <laughs> that's a pretty. I'm calling game. it now. Oh, and I said before. It's going to be uh, called Exhale of the Nature. <laughs> Actually, isn't Micro isn't Rare doing a Breath of the Wild game? Yeah, uh, ever ever wild. Ever. Oh, ever okay. Wild. Yeah, um, that game looks beautiful. But I guess I love that art style. I it's really it. bad that both Insane Cakes and I both forgot the name of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, you know what? That's okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're gonna do like a countdown on this, or do like we, a we three, two, do, one. We're or? gonna do a countdown, um, uh, for sure. But I, I said something before the show, and and I I said uh, what I my predictions were, and I'm predicting that there is going to be a previous Xbox title that is going to PlayStation. Like it is at some point, it was an Xbox exclusive, but now it is not. Uh, that's my prediction. And then Crash Bandicoot, Halo. probably. <laughs> that would be crazy. Halo, coming I'd to... I'd be right. Uh, coming to PlayStation and Halo. your... Uh, your shoot Vita. Vita. <laughs> yeah. Vita yeah. so, 2. Uh, so we're going to... Uh, let me go to the Showcase Theater. Now, um, right. some things are acting a little bit weird for me. So let me... Uh, double check everything uh this, this show has been on for like hours beforehand i really hope it's like oh i'm getting some connection issues <laughs> hours ago if not i'll just restart the stream and it's recording so i'll just edit it but all right um cause I'm so who's gonna do the countdown one sec because on my stream it's showing something uh it's Oh, there it goes. It fixed itself. Thank you for fixing yourself. Cool. All right. Okay. So. So. Three. Two. Two. One. One. Go. 
There's an X in the square. X square. Circle. Circle. State, State of play. play. Uh, the Y is just finished. <laughs> It'll start in 15 seconds. Yeah. 30. Say your last words. Uh, I, Ten. I forgive you. Nine. Eight. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> World premiere. <laughs> last words. <laughs> Famous last words. It's a yellow. It just throws on me for a bit. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> is it like the orange glowing light? Oh, okay, that's actually pretty cool. Oh, now it's blue. Oh, oh, it's like the. Oh. the little... Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like when you turn on a system. Yeah, that's creative. Ah, oh, damn! Oh, you you got that one. <laughs> Hey everyone, wow. I'm Lou Stutter. It's producer about of Toy time. I'm going to talk to you about Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. I think it's a play the... Uh... Crash 4 is a direct sequel to Crash Bandicoot Warped. The devious villains, Neocortex, the, um, and Dr. Entropy have finally escaped their interdimensional prison. I did, because I almost got to work for them. Hole in the universe. Ooh. Now they've got their eyes set on not um, only simply conquering this dimension, close to getting an internship for them. all dimensions. And it's up to Crash and Coco to save the day. We'll Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time is the first totally new game in the Crash Bandicoot series in over a decade. So for us at Toys for Bob, we felt that it was important to reintroduce longtime fans as well as new players to this amazing franchise. First, we made sure to incorporate the classic tense, precise, and perspective-shifting platforming that we all fell in love with. And then we wanted to introduce exciting new elements that we can't wait to show you today. Let's start with Insanity Beach. This is where Crash's adventure first started and where we picked things up again in Crash 4. But there have definitely been changes since we first saw Insanity Beach all those years ago. And throughout Crash 4, you'll see those changes to our gameplay and even our art style. Our art team These guys really to did a really good job remaking the, the original game. games, but oh, the yeah. animated cartoons that inspired those original games. Is it bad that I want to buy Crash 4 just so that way I'll get a Spyro 4 afterwards? Crash 4, you'll see wide open new vistas. Are they making a Spyro? And lots of Like, And with all of that, also comes new additions. Like, I bought the Crash, like, trilogy just for that. So I get the Spyro trilogy. I like Crash, but I grew up with Spyro a bit, so... I respect you. I want Jack and Daxter. I grew up with Bixby. Crash wearing a biker jacket while riding a motorcycle. Oh, wait, he's got Daxter. That seemed like a natural area for us to expand upon. So we have loaded the I want Jack and Daxter awesome to come back. They need to make another Jack and Daxter. It was so good. These skins are God, totally I love that neon costume. way to express yourself while playing the game. And just to be clear, there's no MTX here. Skins are earned oh, by thank God. I was about to say that. And earning yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, it's microtransactions. Okay. Yeah. The powerful protectors of time and space. Crash and Coco will need their assistance throughout the game to tackle the crazy challenges that we're going to be throwing at the player. Whether it's Ika Ika, who gives you the ability to instantly flip your center of gravity at the press of a button. Kapunawa, who allows you to slow down the world around you. This looks like one of those games I'm going to throw my Loli, who allows you to phase shift elements in and out Have you played the original, Crash? Yeah. Reality yeah, I played the original. Oh, environment with I haven't played the, the is remake as well. We also can't wait to talk to you about the fourth Yeah, no, it's making sure you at least played this to know how to wait for another day. annoying, <laughs> annoying the controls used to be. Crash isn't the only character you get to take control of during this adventure. For starters, it was a great game, the but the controls are not. <laughs> this and Tomb Raider Any had very frustrating controls. You can also play as Coco. It's, it's the camera. That she take <laughs> like, as, as much as it is nostalgia in this game, which is clearly all, what they're going for, it, other it's... Characters that you'll get to control at key points in the adventure, so that they can provide... I remember the, uh, bridge. ...and new gameplay. Here you can see that you'll be taking control of Neocortex. He's all about using his blaster to change... I'm surprised they haven't path. done that before. In addition to playing as Cortex, we're... Um... Twin Sanity. Race, you'll also get to tail oh, your can you do it in Yo, what? I repeat, okay. you get to play as Dingo Dial in Crash 4. Oh. Now a lot has changed in the years since we last saw Dingo Dial. In fact, he hung up his old flamethrower rocket launcher combo when he decided to retire from a life of villainy and open a diner. Unfortunately for Dingo, fortunately for us, his adventure begins by witnessing the destruction of said beloved diner and getting sucked into another dimension. Finally, okay. I wonder if this is a crossover. I'm incredibly excited to show of, you today. Uh, ratcheting the Crank. Crash Bandicoot series has always been about finding new and exciting ways mm. to play through the game. In the past, it's been about taking on time trials or discovering all the hidden secrets. Well, for Crash 4, 
We wanted to bring something brand new to the table, so we teamed up with our friends at Beanox oh, to create a brand new shit. style of play for Sorry. Coach 4. Sorry, I stabbed myself. Inverted mode. <laughs> it's our souped up bump up <laughs> on a mirror mode. Not you stabbed only, yourself? Yeah, shifted. But now each oh, I was drawing and then the pencil fell and then I squeezed my leg and then went the right into it. Experience. You're just looking that hard to crash for. Oh, I'm sorry because I'm going to fucking stab myself. Players with paint <laughs> this actually looks really fun though. Ow. We've even got one that feels like an old timey movie with the over cranked camera speed increasing the actual speed of gameplay as well. God, this Once game looks so appealing. Play all the game's levels with a totally new and dynamic look and feel. It's an incredibly fun Ooh. feature that is going to give every player, especially the completionists this out looks there, like it has a, lot a reason of to revisit each level again to see what new and exciting experiences in store for them. I'm actually kind of looking forward to this. Okay. So that's some of the new I stuff mean, we have in store for you. In Crash like I've always liked before, Crash, but like I'm like okay, I'm getting like legit excited now. Madness on October second. Yeah, PS4. Okay, so this is probably PS4 games. That looks great. I'm, I'm actually sold on Crash now. I saw the, uh, there's a Ty uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex that chases you. It was the first one I saw, and that was really good looking. Oh, it's about time. Coming to PlayStation 4 on October 2nd. I would say this looks a lot like a Nintendo Direct. Nintendo hasn't made any Directs this year, so they win this time, Sony. <laughs> <laughs> I'm liking this layout. Oh, man. I gotta finish the second one. I'm glad they're did, still did, doing did. it, man. Because it's such a niche game. Or niche, however you pronounce it. Niche. Niche. Yep. Either one. Besides, this is Yo, what? You should mingle. Have fun. You're making it oh, don't worry about that. My aunt. Interesting. Please, new controllers. Please, new controllers. I do not want to use the moves. I do not want to use the moves. Uh, uh, this is going to be like Resident Evil 7. <laughs> that makes me very interested in it. Play the in Ooh! Yo, the Wow. All three games, okay. That was cool. Sweet. I love the Absolution. Not actual no, gameplay. People, people didn't like Absolution, but I love the Absolution. Absolution's the worst one. Get out of here. I love that one. <laughs> it's the worst one. I love it. It's not a Hitman game. Get out of here. It appealed to me, the casual gamer. Is it Fable? Yeah, you fucking casual. <laughs> <laughs> Fable. They have Fable. It's I Fable. You guys. It's Fable for PlayStation. <laughs> I'd, I'd actually be mad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even a Xbox boy, but I would, I would be oh, mad. It's Lord of the Rings. Imagine if. Uh... Oh. I just imagine like everyone animating this like okay we put all this work into it now set it backwards but we just animated it forwards set it backwards yeah, i know let's set it back what yeah. if they animated everything backwards that'd be hell is this dreams well they did that with the uh what was it dead island game they animated oh yeah it. That's it. Whole thing. Wait, is this braid oh shit braid. you're right yeah oh. Oh. you got it right dude oh wow they make another Okay. Remaster? Or is this a remaster? This is probably, probably like the first oh, okay. anniversary edition. It's got an anniversary already? Man, I'm old. <laughs> oh man, you're not you're not we the are only happy one. To announce Braid Anniversary Edition. It's I, a classic I got puzzle adventure Xbox where you manipulate Live when I was nine years and old. repainted for modern high resolutions. Isn't Many areas crazy? have been re-envisioned to make them more Jeez. unique and 25. And even more like a living painting with brushstrokes animating the world. There are more than nine 16. pixels for each pixel in the original game. Oh, that's cool. There are new animations for smoother motion, improved sound and so music creepy, to enhance though. the mood, he, he always and many creepy, hours of developer commentary and interviews point. on subjects like puzzle <laughs> yeah. design, programming, and visual art. 
we plan to make it the most detailed comment. Did the audio just mess up there video. when they were talking, so or how video games are made, is that just me? Anniversary edition that will be a really good resource. We <laughs> hope you'll enjoy the game when it comes out early next year. I forgot about that thing. <laughs> braid game. You got a braid game. The Pathless is a mythic adventure set on Pathless. a mystical island. Let's take a quick tour in this new footage captured from PS5. How are we going to be on a tour if there's no this path? Gonna We're going to be lost. I'm excited to share more with this you today. This is a terrible tour. upcoming game, The Pathless. Oh. Wait. Oh, this is an open world that's the, mythic adventure you guys game. It's set in a vast... Oh, that's the Breath of the Wild. It's kind of Breath of the, the Wild. Wild. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hunter is a master of archery. Wow. Her. She can shoot talismans to I I I am allows her to bounce. Don't get me wrong. Minutes. I love that style. I really do. It's just I you start to see it a lot when, when This actually like, reminded me a lot more of Journey. So it's like a good mix. Take archery. It's, it's all a good about timing. She can like not aiming down really sights. Fast. Oh wow. This yeah, design was critical to making it possible to Those shoot really while moving fast and performing acrobatic maneuvers. You instantly feel as skilled as the hunter herself. I can't believe I called that. I need to stop. I feel like the hunter. I feel like that bird would annoy me. God, this actually be a really cool parkour game. With help from the eagle, like, you can even fly. Is that the bond between the uh, hunter and the eagle the bottom, is central like in the pathless? Speed. Your dash, yeah. You can gain but altitude your while you glide by flapping. Oh, so doing like banjo kazooie style, you need feathers. So it's uh, Journey sure Zelda Kazooie. To keep it clean and in good flying condition. Should just say, oh, you can pet the eagle. Her name's Harp, and the bird's name is Harp too. Did you guys this is see too the hard. thing where um, oh man, Sony You'll announced find like all over the, the island, the fox and Ghost of Tsushima. They pet them like a million times, or like seven million. Yeah, hell yeah. I love petting the fox. <laughs> I get upset when they disappear before I can pet them. Collecting I wonder if you're gonna have to use a touchpad to like pet the eagle. You know they're gonna make you do that. You'll also discover larger puzzles to solve in ancient structures. Yeah, this is a lot like Journey. Except more action-y. And this one won't have a depressing ending. <laughs> it, it doesn't have as bright, brighter colors as Journey, though. It's got the uh, speed, though. The Pathless is all about finding your oh, own way forward. So unlike most open-world games, there's no map. Instead, the hunter can use her mask to peer into the spirit world and discover distant landmarks. It even journey. shows you where you've been. <laughs> <laughs> Getting to higher <laughs> oh, she even got the journey face. To see further with spirit vision. <laughs> it's not made by the same people, is it? No, 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 no. I have no idea, actually. <laughs> You're like, of course not. Giant actually, cursed spirits, no, no the source of the darkness, <laughs> will pose a constant threat to you on your quest. That is not true. We'll Let me check it that real quick. Eagle. <laughs> no. Oh man. Well, that's actually pretty cool. How do you get your eagle back? Yes, I love all red environments. Stay still in the light yeah! to avoid detection. That looks pretty. Ooh. That is very pretty. Ooh, I like that. This is like Samurai Jackie. Yeah. <laughs> you won't be able to. God, that actually looks experience. really, really Until good. Return light to the obelisks. The Eye of Sauron. No, this is the uh, Eagle Tower and or the uh, Eagle Vantage Point that was also in Breath of the Wild. That was also in a Far Cry. That was also in Skyrim. Curse spirits will be vulnerable. Chase them down through the forest. Ooh! In a dramatic final battle. Oh, okay. We doing Shadow of the Colossus now? All right. Man. Yeah. 
I wasn't sure at first, now now it's looks pretty Okay, good. you got me so. You got me. Yeah. Doing, you're doing pretty good, state of play. Doing better than other times. Okay. God, that looks that looks so fucking legit. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I just I wasn't expecting anything from this. Yeah, it was I, but I'm not like going head over heels for it. <laughs> it looks great though. It, I will Oh it, it man. Looks... Dude, is, the... is, is that a different uh, boss? No, it's the same boss, but it's like cornered more now. Oh, okay. I really hope this isn't going to be a game that'll be ignored by the time like the PS4 dies out and the PS5 comes out. Oh, definitely. No! People are going to be focused. I hope you enjoyed this overview of the Pathless. I was making fun of you, but now I love you. So much more to explore and discover. The Pathless is coming out later this year. Thanks for watching. Later this year. God. Unless, unless they are releasing it for both PS4 and PS5. This would, this would be a decent like PS5 launch title, like uh, that one Shadow game for oh, PlayStation yeah. 4. PS5. Yeah. Okay. So, the, so we got two or three PS4 games. Okay, okay. Store for Spelunky, Spelunky 2. Hi, oh, my man. Name is I never even played Spelunky. I've always wanted Spelunky. to. It's fun. It's hard. For Spelunky 2, like that. I wanted to make like sure a... we made something that got old fans excited and also brought What's in new players. Called? It's like a dungeon crawler. It's important we didn't change the but things it, that made it's like roguelike. Experience What's that? What's that called? Roguelike games. Where the, where the path changes. So many people yeah, came to like, the game okay. their friends and family. I Even love roguelike games. Like Hades is one of my Hades and Dead player. Cells are my so two favorite games. Oh, I right finished now. Dead Cells, dude. I beat it. So I good. So good. So good. It took me forever. To itself, I, I found to make sure <laughs> that the game felt welcoming, even though it's difficult. In Spelunky 2, when you do runs and discover new characters, you'll also be building an in-game community and family. Aww. I designed the world of Spelunky 2 to feel much more rich and dynamic than Spelunky 1. It's going to feel a lot more fun. I might check this out. I might Players finally check this game out. And interact with it in lots of new ways. The only thing that weirds me out on the example, look of this game is it looks very, like, Flash Underground's like... Ways. Oh yeah, that's what the first Spelunky was like. And you'll have to choose between branching paths as you make And not, not that that's a bad games. thing, but... I'll just wait for it on Game Pass. As a result, the stories players create will have much more texture to them. Even after many, many hours of playing, I still Do you guys have interesting know if this runs was on that don't even go past first? the first area. Ah, uh, no. One, for my, not for my knowledge, unless like the shops and how you chose to post with them. like 2010. So in Spelunky 2, we've expanded the shopping experience and made them more nuanced and exciting. And also added new characters that can help you or hinder you. Given how amazing the Spelunky community is, it's hard to say like, how I remember Super Meat Boy originally on Newgrounds and Alien Hominid and, yeah, and, and uh, Spelunky is the beginnings of Castle Crashers, which Castle Crashers is now cheap on PlayStation, by the way. And Alien, there are lots uh, of new hominid. things to play with that I hope hominid. players can hominid. use hominid. to push past hominid. the boundaries hominid. of what by we mono as the monolithic? Is that you guys make it? Ooh, a pug gun. I have two types of favorite stories from Spelunky fans. First are when people are genuinely surprised by something that happened in the game. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> shared a fun experience with friends and family in multiplayer. Oh, Jesus. These are the stories I wanted to expand upon in Spelunky 2. They're really what guided my design choices. After releasing Spelunky, I knew there was a lot more that could be done with the concept in the world. Knowing that possibility was out there is what's been exciting for me and the rest of the team. In a lot of ways, when Spelunky 2 comes out, I want players to experience what I we feel like experience I would play this making. game if I was with That feeling that there's something special there waiting for you to try discover it. it. I don't know if a I would like thanks to the fans who've waited way patiently way like for us to finish Spelunky 2. Jeez, it's been a long journey, looks, but I think it's going to be worth it. Thanks. It sounds so wholesome. I thought Dead Cells was bad with their like many things going on. That just looks even more chaotic. Oh no! Oh, this is every Spelunky playthrough I've ever been in. 
<laughs> Have you played us, Blanky? Uh, Sorry, I had to like quiet it down a little bit, so I was just. I played enough Spelunky to know that that's exactly what Spelunky is like, especially with all the dying going on. Updates to share with you, starting with a closer look at Genshin Impact. Okay. Teko Taku saved the world. This is what I want to see. This is what I want to see. Come on. Oh, this is oh, Breath of the yeah. Wild too. Oh, this is more Breath of the Wild than Breath of the Wild. Full on here to be here. Oh, they, yeah, that's Breath of the Wild. <laughs> <laughs> Got two of them. I'm telling you, man, the style's catching on. It's becoming a, it's becoming a thing. I can't remember if this is on China or on mobile devices first, because I feel like I've seen this before. JRPGs all look alike. Don't be fooled. You motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> A deal in death. Oh, that character looks cool. Bring yourself to kill. This deal's gonna Speak my name. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> what is this disturbing? Let's battle. To which I awaken. Huh? Think you can get away? Burning kiss? Okay. Okay. Oh, what's this? I claim your mind. Well, wait, is this? Gods have squealed for my. Nah, this isn't what I'm thinking it is. Ugh. I love the aesthetic, so I'm gonna buy it day one. Backgrounds look really pretty. <laughs> so day one Actually, oh, what? Hmm. This is. I, I don't know how to feel. I don't need to see anymore. I'm, I'm there. This is like a. Uh, this is like all my 3D anime beat 'em ups now. Oh, I'm getting some Studio Trigger vibes. Okay. Oh, yeah! yeah. Uh, and log on right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! I told you, I don't need to see anymore. It's a day one for me. Dude, Gurren Lagann is literally my number two favorite anime of all time. Tiger Oh, yeah. Anime. Number one being Beep Up. <laughs> it has, like, cyberpunk. God, this looks nice. Love. Dude, that... Yeah, this is looking way, way better than more and more I watch. <laughs> How the hell is visual impact? <laughs> I'm so used to state of plays being okay, but like this is like twenty one Aeon. Oh. Twenty twenty. I'm liking everything I'm seeing right now. But this may be the case. No no never mind, I still like it. <laughs> this may be the exception. You'll see. Let's see. I actually I like the backgrounds. I like that it's actually pixelated with 3D stuff and I actually went very well. Hey, that's interesting. That seems like it's very easy to make. Yeah, but no one does it. It's just right there, though. <laughs> Except for this game that I have no idea what it's going to be. This looks like a very easy game to make. Ooh. Yeah, do you you want to make this game? So they're doing they're doing the same technique of what, what they do in... um. Dead cells. So how they do dead cells is they uh, the dead cells character is actually 3D and it has like a, a uh, the 2D pixelation um, filter. Give me like a they're doing that. What vibes? Ooh, they're doing that here. They're how can you tell they're 3D? Because there's no way the animation on that character is is not 3D. There's no. I can try. <laughs> Sometimes what they do is they they'll take a uh, actual. Person and it's then time just, to talk bug snacks. Then, uh, talk Let's check out, out some yes! Yes! Oh, yeah. Bug snacks! Let's go! I want to see more of this game. Oh, no. join me. Everyone, shut up! Wow, that's your new lead? Another monster hunt? 
Elizabeth Megafig is a two-bit con artist! Don't tell me you actually believe this half-baked nonsense! I swear, if you chase this bug snack story, you're out of a job! You're the journalist! Lisbeth said you'd be coming. There's a bug uh, snack. Yes. Right there. Do me a favor and take my snack trap. Stranger, I could use your help. This bunger goes wild for ketchup. We'll use it to lead the bunger over yonder. I want you to use that journalistic instinct to find out what my favorite yes. bug snack is. Go the carrot. <laughs> Papa. Oh, of course he does. Yeah. I need to play this game. This is, I keep forgetting about how how cool this game is. Was that an Oreo? Good stuff, and nobody like hates you yet. You can catch bug snacks and bring everybody back to Snacksburg. This is gonna get really dark real fast. Snacksburg. Well, <laughs> so oh, here we go. Bug snacks and make it back alive. You just might keep your job. Now get going and try not to fall off a cliff. <gasps> okay. Yes. Yo. Yes. That gigantic dragon pizza monster thing. Yes. Game of the year. There's a lot more in store. Let's start with an. Oh, another PlayStation VR. Oh, okay. The Oculus Rift exclusive. How bad is it gonna look out here? Is this the killing the youngling game? I wish. Is that how it starts off? Mow down a bunch of kids. <laughs> you're just uh, you're like little rag dolls. Oh, whoa! 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 There's a cool lightsaber. Is EA finally making a decent Star Wars game. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa! What was that? The uh, the other one was pretty good. The freaking Dark Souls like one. Oh yeah. The story was actually really good. I enjoyed it. Darth Vader. Mm. I mean, uh, I think people okay, I found the announcement. Is that a port? Yeah. Oh okay. Like, I thought that looked. Oh, what's going on here? Okay. Whatever you do, oh my stay gosh. in the light. I freaking called it. Oh. Wait, oh, wait, I'm, I'm gonna see what this is before. I freaking call it. I. Oh, oh, wait, never mind, never mind. I thought it was Alan Wake. I thought it was Alan Wake, I was about to say. But this is a PlayStation exclusive DLC before Microsoft bought them. <laughs> Dude, control is is amazing. You guys need to play it. I was very skeptical about that game. It is great. The controls are freaking <laughs> the controls are awesome. <laughs> Get it, because control. Ah, oh, ah, oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Nest. Uh, okay. Oh, Squidward. <laughs> oh, it's uh, how to actually yeah. Yeah, okay, there you go. I'm bored now. There you, go. <laughs> you found I'm one. I'm bored now. Found one. First it was Darth Vader, and now it's this. Okay. There it goes, uh... Okay. Hey, do you guys want to battle me in Gwent? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Sure. Yeah. I haven't played okay. Gwent since it was in beta, I so... I'm, I'm gonna lose in Gwent, but, like... That's... You were doing so good. You were doing like so good. <laughs> Three in a row, man. Every show has, the its, worst uh, has its downs. They saved the worst for last. Back to my job. Oh, yes. Okay. Is this a Can't wait for that. This is Don't Nod, right? Oh, no. Oh, I never Please played this, this game. Up. I've always wanted to try it. Is this that? Is it Bugs Max again? No, th th this game came out on Steam a long time ago. Unless yeah, this is like I... a sequel or something. And it looked yeah. really interesting. Um, I think it was a Kickstarter. I saw a bunch of streamers play this game. 
Yeah. I can't tell if this is a sequel or if this is the same one. Basically, you're trying to get him from point A to point B. And then, uh... <coughs> but he's on, like, a 3D plane. Bro, we're all animators here. We could make this game. Let's oh, we do totally it. could. Let's do it! We could could, but do we want to? Yeah, <laughs> so that's the thing. <laughs> it's time, man. That's the only thing. Time. I don't have it. <laughs> Pedestrian coming to PS4. Yeah, so it's a it's the same game. Okay. Now let's take a look well, at PS2 two five. new games headed to PS5. You lied to us. Forest you said there'd be no PS5 games. Ghosts. Uh, I lied. Running silently between the straight, cold lines of a corrupt. Okay. State. Okay. Okay. Is this thief? They count. This looks like Vampire or uh, Kingdom Come. Hmm. Goblin Slayer? From those that come no, I'm just, yeah, no. They wouldn't have a. They Demon wouldn't Souls. be able to show it on here. <laughs> no, definitely not Demon Souls. We are race. Bypass defenses and strike the heart. <laughs> He's dead. Wait, Assassin's Creed? <laughs> no. This is a that, team that game. Had, like, I a guess. Blade. What was stolen? Ooh. I don't like how that cloak looks. Heroes. Warhammer. I could see being. Give Warhammer. me the twist. Give me the twist. Others. We are rivals. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. There's a twist. It's a competitive multiplayer. Is this like the uh, the hunt? Uh... We are oh. Something new. Okay. Never heard of it. Well, it's, it was just announced. So he didn't hear about it before. Oh, what's that Call of Duty game that's like uh, medieval? I, I can't remember what it's called. They should have just showed the From gameplay the bit first. Yeah. Like, Xbox did the same thing. Like, I don't want to see that in things anymore. Temtem. Ah, oh, damn it. Is that Pokemon looking game? Yeah. The Pokemon MMO game. I heard it was pretty good. It's good, but I was kind of expecting more from an ending of, like, the state of play. <laughs> is, is it the end? end? Oh, no, it looks like I got ten more minutes, so maybe I'll be wrong. Still I've, I've never really played Pokemon, so this might be the, the thing for me, you know? You filthy casual. <laughs> never played Pokemon. Nope. Oh. You upset me, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have don't, a switch don't now. Don't apologize. You're never gonna change. <laughs> I have a switch now. Okay. I have. I can. You can get sort of chills right now. I have a switch. Before we wrap I can up, change. Let's take a tour. Oh, I would. We've got new PS5 gameplay for this. Oh, oh. oh God. Launching this. Why are you doing so well? <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I'm not interested in this game. You're doing so well in the first half. <laughs> You're doing so it's well. It's okay. It's a smaller event. They already Hello. did their big event. My name is Keith Lee. I'm hoping. I'm hoping for the God of War two for the next thing games, later this month. We are very excited to share gameplay yeah, with you today. They're, they're having another event. Glimpse. But I feel like that's just going to be their console stuff. Today you'll be seeing extensive. Uh, game they may have more PS5 only games because I don't think mind, God of War 2 is going to be PS4 still at all. Progress, and some things may change from the final product as we continue to learn and harness the power of Sony's next generation console. This is, this is, is this the quality? Is like the quality weird for you guys? So let's jump right into what Godfall. No, is. it's better. 
<laughs> oh, it's I'm just 1080p. That's what it looks like. Intense action. I'm on auto 1080p. I'm on the highest thing. <laughs> I thought, okay. Progression I'm like, I thought yeah, my stream you can enjoy was the game at your own pace. They probably no. Sony some weird. Or through online co-op with up to two Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> way to way to go, Sony. Way to sell me on the PS5 gearbox. <laughs> Arcane magic. Why do you still keep going after everything you've done? Into the elemental realm. I'm not interested in this game. Water. It could be Air. fun with friends. Fire. I'm being Your optimistic. Oh wow, the elements! How original! In the game are acquired or unlocked. So great for the PS5. No microtransactions. <laughs> no waiting for content. It's all in the game on day one. Okay. Oh god, no. It's funny how people enemies. have to say this that now. Mad like, <laughs> we have no microtransactions. Like, I wish it was you just, but people didn't have to say it. It's just like a standard. Warrior, you know? able to it, it's, it's that bad, but what's worse is like, this is all just coming in with day one. No microtransactions or any of that junk. This is all we've got. This is our full game. <laughs> but you do have to pay for all the DLC. <laughs> you have to buy the game. Two times. Now let's talk about <laughs> gameplay in Godfall. No. First. Don't end it on here. You're gonna end it on here. To combine I mean, this is the biggest game they've been promoting. They've been promoting the crap out of this. was the first PS5 game they should. I know, and it's terrible. One part gear driven and one part player skill driven. In other words, not only do we want you to find exquisite weapons with powerful loot traits, but we also want you to have that feeling of accomplishment. Oh, they didn't show the Marvel game. Wide set of combat mechanics available no, we'll to you. No, we probably just end up talking Godfall. about it if they don't show it. From a combat philosophy perspective, the melee combat in Godfall is intended. Combat to be philosophy fluid, perspective. And that doesn't look fluid to me. Offense over not only does it not look fluid, he's doing like not, the same animation. You'll be facing multiple enemies at the same time. They have the same result, ones though. Should always be moving and closing the gap. They should on show enemies. like different swords and stuff. Also, you Mix dominate the combat space, not the enemies, and the game rewards you for being aggressive. Oh, uh, familiar with the oh there you go. Philosophy. They, they Let's heard dig me. into the weapons themselves. In God's it's the fall, same there one. <laughs> the long sword. The dual yeah. blades, I do like. I do like that helmet. I think that helmet's pretty slick. The pole arm. <laughs> It's like a uh, bird line. The two-handed warhammer and the two-handed great sword. So you got three Each kinds of swords: their own unique moves a long, pointy sword, fast combos to more strategic and delivery. you get a club. As you defeat enemies in your adventures. You <laughs> and four different swords. Weapons. For they should have looked at anime. Anime has weapon with their own crazy swords like gun swords and traits. Friggin at a later date, we will delve anime. into the weapon classes and how to anime. modify them in greater detail. For now, oh, that's cool. we'll go over the dual blades and the longsword uh, weapon classes. I'm, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to buy this game at all. Class in Godfall. But you can dual blade, speed, insane. And mobility. You can have two swords. <laughs> against soft, you can dual blade in, in, in Kingdom Hearts, but you, can perform a combo you see me playing that right now? Consecutive light attacks. But that one, he had two oh keys. God. Is a sword. I'm just kidding. I love King Hearts. Well. How do you go from being the best state of play to being the worst immediately? How do you do that? They are putting so much into marketing on this game. I know. I know they do, but it doesn't look good. I want to be proven wrong. I really do. I don't shit talk for fun. I I really I like to be proven wrong on a lot of things. Nah, this is the one game now, that I'm just not excited about. Weapons. Most of the other ones I'm okay with. Long I'm not excited for that Did Marvel you like game. The game play of, uh, Borderlands? And simple cooldowns without this is just this is just Borderlands with like Destiny stuff. Similar well, I, mean, I like Borderlands 3. Yeah, I mean, so. If I you like Borderlands 3, then like, maybe you'll like this. I'm trying to be optimistic. Heavy attack finisher, yeah. which is used at the end of your <laughs> like, attack. Borderlands is fine and all. There are three but then, like, okay, we're gonna do Destiny now. This is more like Destiny than Borderlands. 
which cannot still be like interrupted this and deals high damage to multiple <laughs> nearby <laughs> targets. <laughs> game is for then there's Spiral Tap, which no. eviscerates No, Destiny looks way better. It, it does look better because it's Notice done like. Why is this? Uh, maybe it's the. Sword sword why is this stream so blurry? This is a download. This is for people exactly to know. This is a downloaded video. This is not live. Shield uppercut with so maybe. We're the watching it wrong. Is no, it's. I'm on 1080p, dude. I'm on 1080p. To throughout the entire too. game. I don't know. You so can always very... block incoming attacks with your shield. If you press the shield button at the right time, you can also pair. You know what? I would not be surprised if they came out and was like, Sony should have played it on 1080p. The blurriness made their sales go down for this game. If they pull some shit like that. <laughs> like, I know we're giving a shit. Like, I know everyone's been giving shit on, like, Halo Infinite and shit like that. And, like, I get that. No, Halo wasn't as bad as this, I don't think. Because Halo like, generally looks fun. Halo Infinite has Craig. There is no Craig here. <laughs> I, have to, I have to show you this meme I saw. I was cracking up with Craig the other day. And of course, it's like Ellie. She's looking R3 at the screen and she's like squinting and she sees Craig and then she smiles. The <sighs> Why is this so long? They're, they're gonna end it on this. They better not. Oh, they are. That's how. That's how I, I scroll. I sc scroll ahead to see if there's any main <laughs> changes. That's how they're ending it. No. This is the most. And like I know, I'm saying a lot of shit right now. And like I know, a lot of people work hard in video games. That's you know, a lot of effort goes into this. But like. Uh, I'm sorry. I really am. I... <laughs> Wanna know something too? That bugs me on the animation on the character? What? The cloak is so stiff. It's like stuck yeah. his back up to his butt and then, then it's slowy. It looks <laughs> it's like... restricted collision. Um, it's I'm... like there's no physics going on. I don't know what engine they're using, but uh I Why should I blur texture? I don't know if they uh, the PlayStation 5. uh baked also in the, the animation for the cloak or back in December. if it has actual physics on it. We have a few more surprises coming it, down the dude, road. Dude, it looked like it had joints in it. Loot, <laughs> with like subtle, eager to subtle physics like, on I'm it. I'm hoping this is just because cool. we don't have 4K monitors or something and maybe we're not but the other allowed the 4K gods, but like... The thing is, I didn't see anything with the other games. Other games look fine. And then and Godfall popped up and I'm like, why is it so blurry? It was probably it was probably them handing it off to PlayStation then. Yeah. Oh my god. How do you do that? We hope you enjoyed How do you get me so full of life <laughs> and then take it away immediately? <laughs> How do you do that? Oh man. Well my predictions was wrong. I was two for three. Yeah, you did pretty good. I I got like I got a new VR game, but I don't know if I'm gonna get any new controllers. Uh, let me go. Look, I'm gonna look this. I'm gonna look up the uh, All right, so I'm a, Twitter ahead, state yeah. of play right now. All right, so I'll, I'll play it in our podcast and then. Uh... All right, so we we have pretty obvious thoughts there. I thought um. Like Crash Bandicoot, which is on the screen right now, that was really fun. Fun. That looks like it looks great. It looks like it has a lot of content. What the? Hold on. Wait, oh. am I just? Uh, okay. No, it was a joke. I'm sorry. I thought I saw a bully two confirmed, but no, it was. Just oh, a... don't tease oh, me don't, like don't. that. I was, I was looking up Twitter to see if they didn't like this. Uh, <laughs> who cares what Twitter thinks? I know, I, like, normally I don't care about them, but, like, I want to see if they're as angry as I am. Oh, okay. Probably not. Sony has more fans than Xbox and Nintendo combined. Well, I don't know about Nintendo. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah. Um, so, my highlight of that show was Crash. I really liked that other Journey game. What was, what was the name of it? Um, The Bathless? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. But, yeah, the bathless. That was the my, bathless. That was my the dirt. She's very dirty. 
the bad <laughs> one. Um, that w- that was pretty cool. Um, I haven't played Spelunky, um, but I would oh, love yeah. to try it with with somebody. I don't know if that would be a game I I would play on my own. It seems like a, someone will have to introduce me. It's to a it. it's an online game, I think. But uh, Spelunky too looks good. Uh, there's just God. There's so many good announcements, and it was just that snack. We've seen more of that snack game. That bug oh snack. yeah, no, that was great. Um, I, I oh. I'm intrigued by that game just because of like the internet. Like the internet has made such fun of that game that that's why I want to play it. But <laughs> I don't know about the game itself. Like, what the heck are you doing? You're I guess you're a journalist. You're a journalist that has to go to Bug Snack Island and you see the villages there, but at night it turns into a horror game. <laughs> Just like what everyone was expecting it to be, and that's why I'm looking forward to oh, it. Man. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll and definitely... Aeon, Aeon must die. Sorry, that's the other game I was thinking. <laughs> I'll definitely try it, I guess. The trigger game. That game looks fucking cool. Excuse me. I'm trying to like look through like I'm trying to find like a website that covers all the game announcements because there was a lot in that state of play. Um, there was. I'm I'm playing some right now. Crash crashes on the screen. Um so remedy yeah i need to see a page where uh if someone can find it for me of all the different announcements uh that was shown that would be great um okay let's see what kotaku's got crash bandicoot 4 hitman 3 okay there's a kotaku article that covers uh pretty much everything yeah, genshin ahead. impact uh aeon must yeah <clears throat> but uh, just I'll just tab all this stuff here. I'm gonna post it in here. Yeah, then give, give me that. Give me the give me the link. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here you go. Give me. Can you give me the link? Okay. 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 Here you go. Just click me there. Okay. All right. Um. Do 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 do. All right. So we started off with Crash Bandicoot, which I thought was great. Um, right. Uh, then we the we had a Hitman three VR announcement, which I that looks great, awesome. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I just I just want better controllers. Yeah, I mean I I haven't tried the PSVR. I tried um the Oculus and I did the uh, Steam. What's the Steam one? Index or the HTC Vive? The Vive actually. Index is better. Index oh. does look better. Really, I tried the Vive. Yeah, um, but I haven't tried PSVR. It kind of looks like—is it like blurry in there? I imagine it to be. Um, <laughs> the PSVR is isn't as powerful as the other headsets, but it gets enough of the job done. Okay. Uh, it's basically the reason why a lot of people like the PSVR so much is it compares to the other headsets, to where they're uh, much more expensive. Uh, the PSVR is kind of like, I think maybe like around. So this is like back then when like it was kind of expensive to get a VR and just like get the computer yeah. and the chips in there. So it's like a but with like a PSVR, there. you already got a PS4 to run it, so it was kind of like a way to get into PlayStation or not, not into PlayStation, but it was a way to kind of like get yourself into VR that wasn't like holding a phone up to your face or stuff like that. Right. Um. Yeah. I. I. That looks interesting. Um. I do want to uh, play that. Cause I, I like him in Braid. Uh, that was a cool trailer. I already beat Braid, but I, you know I could beat it again. Support the developers. Yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'd like to see it again. It looks like it says they're planning on releasing I mean, it on I... Switch and PS5 and PS4 and Xbox One and Series X and Linux and Mac. So that's cool. I'll try the guy it. hates his own community though. <laughs> How do you support him when he hates the community? Oh, is that the Daniel same guy? Daniel him even harder. Or was that, was that Pe- <laughs> Pez, I think, was the developer. That was kind of... No, yeah, I'm thinking of Pez. That was a guy that just like, had a meltdown and just canceled Pez, too. Was it yeah, he Pez? Didn't, he, didn't, he didn't like his community either. Braid didn't... The guy who made Braid. Oh. 
I'm gonna Google. I this. think I'm mixing the, them because there there was this documentary I watched. With, yeah, with, uh, on Netflix. Yeah, <laughs> that was actually I, I, li- I like that documentary. Yeah, because so many people was like making making fun of his game. He had the whole Kurt Cobain thing going on. Yeah, <laughs> right. oh, like, people, don't people don't understand my my game. I'm gonna feel. Oh scared. yeah, here we go. Quote from Venture Beat: Gamers are the fucking worst people. Okay. Yep. yep. See, told you. Okay. I hate gamers so much, and I just make the video games. I just. Uh... <laughs> and then we had uh, the Pathless. Yes. Yeah. Oh man, that went from like. Going from a just like ah, this is like a simple or like ah, whatever game to like getting better, just like the traversal, the uh, puzzle stuff. I was I wasn't into it at first, but then you got to like try and hunt down a monster and shit and hide from it and just like, ew. I I got I, that was a total one eighty for me being a dick about it to like just like <laughs> oh man, yeah, that that looked yeah. like a fun game to play. I like how fast the. Uh... The combat was, and uh, how, it seems like your arrow was like almost a way for you to keep your speed. Yeah, interesting. yeah, and uh, that's definitely new. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll definitely try that out. Um, after that, we had Spelunky too, which I, I sort of already said, but like I I haven't played the first one. It's one of those games I would. I, I don't know if I would try out unless <laughs> a friend was there or something like that. I mean, normally I don't like roguelites, but I know that Spelunky is like pretty chill for what it is. So I played a little bit of it back when it was free on PlayStation Plus years ago, but I had fun with it. It's definitely one of those games to where like each experience is going to be completely new and you get to laugh at it, like with the mind deaths and shit like that. Yeah. So now Aeon must die. I... Oh, don't forget to get an impact in eight. Oh yeah, yeah. Was that the the Japanese game? That was a that was a, one of the anime waifus. Yeah. The anime no, anime anime oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me go in order. So, um, uh, Genshin Impact. Uh, I can't tell what the gameplay right. is gonna be like. Um, I imagine it's gonna be like a uh, Breath of the Wild mixed with like, okay, here are these classes and characters that do different things. You're all in a little group. There's a raid boss. You take that down. Like, it looks nice, but I'm not really seeing much outside of that. Yeah. Like, I, I like, uh, I don't know. I like the art style. So. Yep. Oh, it's nice. Yeah. Beautiful art style. Yeah. Definitely right. looks really good. Yeah. Um, then we have Aeon Must Die. And I'm playing all these on the stream so you guys could be reminded if, if you don't remember. Okay. Okay. Um, so Aeon Must Die was the one right after that and I was a fan straight up like as soon as I saw it because I love cyberpunk one thing I love like a callback to like uh, I think it's 80s or I think it's 80s uh, that sort of this feels more like this side like a tech like a cyber dystopia or something yeah well I guess that's what cyberpunk is I, I don't know it's just it just, I guess, the the neon um in it reminded me of something. Yeah, and the uh the cut frame rate sort of is pretty cool. Definitely, um, love it. <laughs> like I, I love it as soon as it came on the screen. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's that's for me. Um, I'm getting like anime 3D opening vibes and like Trigger and like Gainax is just all the good shit. Yeah, and Ninja Slayer too. I don't know if you ever you ever heard of Ninja Slayer. That is one funny show. Oh yeah, and and the people who are watching this, you have to know that we're all animators, so we see things a little bit differently than most people. We um, have better taste than you. <laughs> you you guys, we're so. educated. <laughs> so um, yeah, but gotta make our degree somehow. Yeah, I I really like this trailer. Aeon must die. I'll be looking out for that one. Um, then we had. Huh? It's kind of reminded me a little bit of Fury a little bit as well. Kung Fury? In some aspects. No, not Kung Fury, just <laughs> F-U-R-I. Oh. <laughs> and then we had this Next. one. Uh, Anno Mutationism? Mutation? Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me pronounce that with you. Yeah. Anno Mutination Mutationium 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 Mutilation. 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 Mutil
I feel like I'm right. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> um, yeah, this game, um, I don't know. I feel like it would be fun to play, but I have, I have to like play it. I uh, I was expecting like when I saw the boat to be the game that'll disappoint me, but then I was like, no, 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 you're you're good, you're good now. And uh, I just I'm just kind of loving just like how more games are just. Well, I'm not even sure if it's more games, but this game in particular is actually combining like 3D with sprite work to kind of create like this immersive world because a lot of indie games usually just do a lot of sprite stuff and that's really it but this seems to go like an extra mile and just getting the 3d to look pixelated to get that style there and just like having it all blend in very well together and having 2d character sprites kind of go forward and then back and then like left right like going forward and backwards in space if i'm making yeah. sense there or i'm being pretentious but like yeah there's a lot of stuff technologically that i really like right now that i'm seeing okay so, what, what do you think about it cakes I, I really enjoy um like the first time I saw when Dead Cells did that animation type, that's that's what made me fall in love with Dead Cells, like yeah, straight up. Yeah. Um there what I'm seeing here is some cases they are using it mainly with the attacks. But when they're doing regular animation, I think it's regular like 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 the, some parts they're not doing the three D technique. Or they're just doing really plain animations which is not a bad thing it's just it, it's just a style yeah. for, for the moment um yeah i'm i'm not too huge on the side scrollers as much as, as i used to have been mm -hmm. um but i might check it out that that would be one i'd get after I, I see a review after the game comes out sure. mm -hmm. and after that video played another video was trying to start where it said uh Play state, the state of play was a waste of time. I don't, I don't think it was a waste of time. It uh, was in the last half. It, yeah. Yeah, the last half for sure. Um, Enough about that. Let's talk about Bugs Next. Bugs Next is, is next. So, uh, you guys heard my opinion on it. Like, Bugs Next to me is one of those games I'm going to play just to see how ridiculous it is. I don't know, like, if, if, if I never seen the trailer or whatever, I don't know if I would play it. But now I, I, I'm so curious. I just have to play it. I have to see what the heck this game is. You know, This is the game of the year of all years. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the greatest game ever made. Bug Snacks will uh, be this game of the year. It's, it's the knack, but it's good. It, it's the greatest game of the year, Morty. Uh, we we got to play and get all the Bug Snacks. No, no, Morty. Morty. No, shut up, Morty. Don't look forward to Spider-Man or... Uh, or Fable or any of that stuff. It's Bug Snacks, Morty. It's Bug Snacks. Oh, I started like the game graphics. No, Morty, Bug Snacks. Shut the fuck up. It's Bug Snacks. There's bugs that are snacks. It's just like there's a dragon for like pizza dragon, Morty. Yo, it, I could see that actually being a legit crossover, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Godfather, right? Godfather said, shut the fuck up, Morty. God, you have the worst taste ever. Bug Snacks, Morty. So yeah, it looks like one of those games where uh, it, I just I just have to try it. I, I got nothing else to say. It's such a joke game that it has to be good. This is not by the same guys that did Octodad. It has to be good. I did like Octodad. It, it looks. It looks like a oh, wait, wait, wait. spore monster rancher thing. I I, I don't know. No, 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 don't, 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 don't cut out. We got to see the dragon pizza. Oh. Damn it. Okay. Uh, I'll... Yeah. Come on. How do you, how do you I'm skip sorry. the dragon I'm pizza, sorry. dude? All right. You see. <laughs> Look at it. There it's a butterfly. There it's a butterfly there pizza. It's not a dragon. It's a butterfly pizza. Yeah. It's a butterfly, dude. All right. So then we had, okay. um, I'm happy and it looks like someone's tasting some bug snacks right now. Um, we got Control Expansion 2. Now, you guys, you're banned because you haven't played the first Control in, in general. So yeah. go, go go play Control. Like It, it is an amazing game. Um, I think the, the story is very trippy and... Uh, just give it some time. I want you guys to try it. I, I really enjoyed the gameplay. I really like mm. the trippiness of everything. Um, the abilities are fun. Will a let's play count? Will a let's play count? Like you watching it? Yeah. Yeah. 
No, that doesn't count. That's like that's like an insult, dude. Holy shit! <laughs> no, it's I, I dude. I feel I'm, like for some I'm trying a hundred percent. I'm trying a hundred percent. Uh, uh, goes to Sushi Island, and then I got. <laughs> now that's just racist. <laughs> <laughs> I say I say something sushi related because that's what it sounds like. That's not racist. <laughs> that's just how it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of my friends called it a uh, ghost of California roll, and I, I, I straight up died. That was. So you try to finish. Uh, that. So after that, will you try out control? I have to finish Final Fantasy VII because I'm uh, that, stuck oh, on wait, chapter wait. No, 14. you should try out Control first because Final Fantasy VII is probably long as heck. This is not that long. To be fair, the Final Fantasy VII remake isn't technically finished. But it's like yeah. thirty hours. I wouldn't even say it's not finished. Oh, uh, I mean, it's it's not the full game. It's just one disc out of five. Wait, wait, whoa, hold on! I just noticed something. I'm replaying this. Hold on. I saw something. This is a story spoiler. We won't get what that. I I called it. I called it. That is Alan Wake. That is Alan Wake. Is he part of? He. That's an Xbox. That's an Xbox. Uh. That's just a character. That's like that. Is, that looks like every other. That is Alan Ooh. Wake. I oh yeah, I just Google. That's him. I know what Alan <laughs> Wake looks like. That is definitely we'll Alan Wake. Oh man, I. Definitely I will also that. Google up Alan Wake. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's what it says. <laughs> Controls Alan Wake DLC is out in a oh, couple of months. Oh man, I I, uh, I just saw it for a brief second. I'm like, huh, he looks familiar. <laughs> and then I went back. I'm like, oh yeah, that's played Alan Wake. Oh that? wow, I called it. I called it. Okay. Well, try out Control <laughs> you guys. And, okay. Uh, and uh, I I think it's a great game. All right, next one. Auto chess? I don't remember seeing that. It was, a chess it was game. when I gave up hope. It's an auto chess game. It was the one that came after the theater my game. Memory. Uh, oh, oh, this game. I really blocked that from my memory because it was so bad. All right, next game. <laughs> <laughs> the pedestrian. pedestrian. Um, how do you guys like pedestrian? I was kind of deflated after auto chess, but it looks nice. Pedestrian does. I like those puzzle games. Yeah, I like puzzle games. I haven't tried it, um, but I've seen people play it. It looks pretty fun. I'll, I'll, uh, I don't know if I would. Honestly, I, I'm not going to play it. Let's be honest. I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm not going to skip it. Yeah, I might skip it. I was going to say, I'll, I'll try it. Uh, no, I don't, I don't think I'll play it. Steam oh, sale. Okay. That's a Steam sale game. Yeah. So, I was gonna you, you you start us off with Hood Outlaws and Legends. Yes, Hood Outlaws and Le we 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 speculated how many games this thing could be, and it was just a whole new IP. That that's cool. I feel like uh, this is gonna be like a uh, one of those games, sort of like a Predator, a little bit, where uh, there's like a couple of teams. They're all trying to get this one thing, but it's being patrolled by NPCs, and you know, you're dealing with, like, the NPC enemies. You're dealing with, like, the PvE, and then you do PvP just to try and get this one goal. I was originally just thinking this is going to be, like, just a four-player co-op game where you all just go through and kill everyone, and then just like, okay, we're going to get the treasure for ourselves. But then things got a little bit more interesting when more teams were involved, which makes me think this is going to be a little bit more competitive than before. Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be, like, a generic kind of, like, I'll betray my friends, and then I'll take it for myself. But it just sort of like it just seems like a medieval. Actually, now that I think about it, it reminds me a bit of Payday, but at the more of a, with different teams and just like trying to get the same thing. So we're on her. Yeah. 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 That's a good analysis. I was thinking it was a better Godfall. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think everything's a better Godfall. <laughs> You have the four play because it had the four player sort of uh, sword combat. But I guess you have more weapons than just swords, uh, which is why I think it's better. But and then we've got Tem Tem. Oh, sorry, to interrupt you. Yeah, I was just gonna say uh, it looks like it's just like a, a co op game. 
I'm all for co-op games. I, I like playing with friends. I like trying out different games like that. Uh, I'm more. I'm looking more forward to Hood than Godfall. That's for sure. And uh, I didn't even see that much, but it looks more interesting to me. All right. Um, then we have Tim Tim. And we just found out that Three Bit is one of those people. It's like I've never seen Jurassic Park or Star Wars, and I'm like 35. And I am just like that. We found out that he's never played a Pokemon game in his life. Listen, listen. I grew no. up on Digimon, okay? The same yes. here, dude. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> it was, I, had a, I had an interesting childhood. It just skipped me, you know? It skips just, every generation, and it, it, it just happened to be me. I will give you my copy of S.H.I.E.L.D. just so you can have a Pokemon experience. In his defense, the Digimon World games are absolutely phenomenal. One through oh, three. Oh no, Digimon is the shit. Like I ain't arguing with that. Digimon World one through three was my entire childhood. Like I, yeah, I still I, go I back and Digimon, play Digimon World three every once in a while. I played um, uh, I don't even know what Digimon game I played. It was on the DS, and I I played the crap out of whatever <laughs> DS game that was, um, oh. and I really liked it. But as a kid, I don't know, Pokemon just, just sort of skipped over me. So it looks like this game is uh, my chance, my second chance, you know, my third chance. Terrible, Stark. Terrible, Stark. <laughs> um, so I'll try it out. And then we end the show on Godfall. Can we so... just skip it? <laughs> I want to see I if fuck... this looks better. Like, um, no, they uploaded it. I want to see if, if the quality is better. Oh, 1080p, 60 FPS. <laughs> it runs faster, right? What? 60 FPS, so good. Oh man. <laughs> oh no. PS let's find a let's find a texture. Let's find a texture that just made me want to like give up. Is it? They they were saying how this pushed the power of the PS5 and stuff. Like, come on. Uh, into the past, maybe. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I'm just really hoping this is just like, oh, our stream didn't support a 60 FPS. But like, this is an upload, you know. Like, I understand the stream, I'm, but this the video I'm looking at right now is the upload they did after. You know how like in the in the Xbox stream, like right after the Xbox event, even though most of those are CGI trailers, after the the Microsoft event, they uploaded the entire thing in 4K 60. Like, you seen that? But yeah, yeah and this. It's like they uploaded it, and it's 1080p 60, and it's blurry. Like, oh, yeah. we still got the messy texture. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I'm gonna print screen this. I am like, I'm sorry. I just like, I have never gotten mad at a game before until now. <laughs> like, it's blurry. <laughs> like, it looks okay. Like, it's, it's not pushing the power of the PS5 like they claimed, but like. It, it looks okay. It to me it doesn't. Uh, even even if it was 1080p, it's got a lot of textures and model things very similar to how Warframe looks. And I I I think the gameplay of Warframe is really good, but the look of it looks very um, plain. I guess it looks like Destiny yeah. Warframe. No. Just, I it looks empty to me. Like it looks like the art style. It was like they used a bunch of assets. And they put it in. They used the, they used every single portfolio they found on ArtStation. It was like, okay, I'm a game concept designer. Here's all this detailed <laughs> stuff I did, and they just made that into an entire game. And I mean that with the utmost respect for game designers or game concept artists. <laughs> I know it sounds really bad of me saying that, but like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't. It, I don't it, it sounds like we're dishing on the game, but it's it's. I mean, we kind of. You went it. from an. I'm sorry. The state of play went from an A to an F immediately. <laughs> <laughs> they started off so strong. I was. They like, did. Okay, okay so I was they, getting so fucking pumped. Yeah, they started off really strong, but you know what? This is not like a major event. This is just like a like here to hold you over we're still releasing our console here you go here's some stuff they 
After this, they better show God of War 2. <laughs> We're not going to get God of War 2 until two years from now. That's my bet. Yeah. Well, even still, even still, they could still show a, a thing two years ahead of time. No. Yeah, like, remember when I was saying, like, you guys yeah. were, were, were was saying to me, like, I think maybe God of War will be shown. And then you guys were saying, like, no. Nah. And then I said, Sony tends to show games years from release. And that's, like, their thing. And I thought they would do it here. But I don't. I guess not. So, but so maybe they're having another showing later in um, well, later in August. We're gonna get God of War two the same way we're gonna get Metroid Prime four, the name and nothing else. <laughs> it hurts. It hurts every time. Oh man! And Bayonetta three. And, and Bayonetta <laughs> three. Um. So we have some topics we're gonna go over. I think that the that sort of leads into. Uh, one of the topics I I did want to talk about. Let's let's skip to the other show, uh, the topic three. Um, other Sony shows later in August. So I think they're gonna have a, sh- a another show in August. I think it's already sort of been confirmed. Um, and I I believe they're going to just release the price of the console. Think about. It. We are not that far from the release of these consoles, and they still haven't released the price. They still haven't released... uh, Well, yeah, they haven't released the price. So people need to pre-order it. Um, But in order to pre-order it, you need to know what price it is, right? Um, So I believe that's going to happen later this month. But I I also believe, and you guys could state uh, what you think, that they're not going to do it Unless Microsoft goes first. So what do you guys think uh, is going to happen later in August? I had a dream about this. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I had a dream that 5 was announced with a $200 price tag. And the Xbox One Series X is a $400 price tag. And I bought three PS5s and no Xbox One Series Xs. And that was my dream. Unless you want Bill Gates to shake around coins in a cup and you walk past them. Unless Bill Gates can somehow cancel Godfall, then maybe I'll do an Xbox One Series X. I don't know. <laughs> I just picture like Bill Gates. He's in front of the Sony headquarters with a cup. And he's just, he's just like... I'll uh, give you a halo if you stop the Godfall deal. Change, sir. Change. You know. Um, <laughs> I, I hope... Uh, uh, we'll see. Maybe Godfall is really fun to play, and we will look back at this podcast, and we'll be like, how stupid we were. Look how fun this game is. I really want to be that guy. <laughs> I've already regretted so much in my life. This would just be an addition to that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who knows? <laughs> Maybe it will be. Um, I guess we'll have to just wait and see. Um. So that's happening later in August. Cakes, you got anything to add to that? Like, what games? Uh, what games they might show? Um, anything about the announcements? Whether they'll go first? Any of that? I think. I think you you're right. This is more of an appetizer. However, I think they're gonna show some new games, some new IP, uh, either some new IPs or or big games at the end of august along with a price i think they're going to show the price first because i think everybody's tired of waiting yeah because you're right it is dude it's like three months at three four months out from from uh holiday season when they said that all these all these systems are going to be out normally they do it at the beginning of december before christmas so people can get all theirs for some people are thinking even november that these consoles will come out yeah uh, because of uh, taking advantage of Black Friday and they want to get those deals in and all that different stuff. So... Unless... Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry, ahead. I keep cutting you off. No, I go, keep cutting go, you off. Go ahead. <laughs> um, unless Microsoft puts out a thing before this Sony conference, I think Sony's going to announce their price at the, by the end of August. Yeah. Hopefully on my birthday. That would be a sweet birthday present. <laughs> I... I think uh, Microsoft has been like uh, pretty forthcoming with like their news, so I think they might 
say it first, but I don't know. I think this is the one thing they're they're not budging on. So it's kind of hard. <laughs> I, it's it's a game of gay chicken on the price. It is definitely a game of chicken. Um, cause say the full thing. First, but we'll see. We will definitely see. Uh, I I think Sony will go first, but. Uh, we'll know in uh, later in August because uh, Microsoft is also also going to have a show, uh, rumored, in August as well. S- uh, probably displaying their other console, the Series S, uh, the cheaper model. Um, so, we'll we'll, uh, we'll see if that is confirmed or not. All right, so we're gonna roll it back a little bit and go to the Avengers. Talk about Avengers a little bit. The whole Spider-Man debacle. All that good stuff. Mm. Um, so what did what did we think about that? The mm. whole Spider Man. Yeah, so Spider Man is exclusive to uh, PS Five, but not only that. Um, not only is he is he exclusive, they also locked off different features in the game to Sony as well. Um, let's see if I can find that uh, the exact details on that. So, uh, reading from the article from MCU Cos- uh, Cos- Cosmic, Cosmic? Um, they said, when it comes to cosmetics, PlayStation players will have 30-day exclusive access to a legendary outfit, legendary emote, epic takedown, a nameplate uh, s- do, 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 that are released for the six launch heroes. We also have awards for those with a PlayStation Plus subscription, for each superhero added to a game post launch, Hawkeye included. All PS Plus members will receive a free bundle that contains a rare outfit, nameplate, uh, and 100 credits. Um, so that's not too bad. Uh, I I read somewhere. Uh, I mean, that's still you know still sucks, but uh, it's not like a whole character is locked off. Uh, oh wait, yeah, it is. Um, what do you guys think about it? I know worse. Uh, me and worse was like debating on this all, <laughs> all on uh, Facebook. Um, Cause I, I, I thought it kind of sucked and it was anti-consumer, but um, you, you, you basically have the stance that it has been done before. So, um, so what, what do you think about it worse? I would be uh, more outraged about this. If this wasn't a thing for like several decades with just like a console exclusive stuff that's still being pushed around a lot mm-hmm. i think it does kind of suck that spider-man has been locked just exclusively for sony but i've just been kind of used to that already and uh it's the marvel avengers game so it's not uh it could be worse so it's just if there's something that i was if there's like something that was like good and i was looking forward to then i'd be a little bit mad but it's, yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do you think about it, Cakes? Rip into it. <laughs> yeah. They they've done this for they've done this for years though. The first time I remember them doing something major, even before like ex, well, it is an exclusive, but like before like it was a, a popular thing was uh, was it Soul Calibur for yep. when I don't go that far? It's two. Well, say Soul Calibur 2 had a uh, link for the GameCube, oh, yeah. Hey Hot V for the PlayStation 2, and Spawn for the Xbox. Yeah, that's right. I do remember that because I remember playing Link. Yeah, and I was <laughs> saying that, that was like had, a, uh, that's a good example because at least you know each console has like its own sort of like it's like you open up a like a like a Happy Meal like oh I get yeah. this toy you know but yeah. And then uh, with four, it got weirder with uh, Star Wars, Yoda and Darth Vader, which which in retrospect it's still a cool idea with their color uh, aesthetics because Yoda has got the white and green, which is Xbox or the 360 for the time, and PlayStation was the all black Vader with the shiny metal plastic looking thing like that. Dude, that that was actually perfect. I I, I didn't care. I thought that was very very smart. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Um, basically what I think about it is I wouldn't 
be opposed to like a cosmetic right like a cosmetic makes sense and it looks like that's what some of the other things they're saying that's going to be exclusive to playstation are like they uh have some of the skins that are going to be playstation exclusive or um like a nameplate like like you know those are things that don't affect uh it's not like a a huge section of the game and make i'm not saying spider-man necessarily is but uh locking a, a whole character i don't know <laughs> that, that just really sucks you know um i like i like what would have made sense for me is that they had spider-man and if you want to try out the the spider-man outfit from the insomniac games then you know that's only exclusive to playstation like that makes sense but uh yeah i don't know <laughs> that whole deal is just kind of i'm not a fan not a fan of it it's I, it's all part of marketing yeah i have and, a complete hatred for that game anyway right now like <laughs> like aside from the people it's aside from people the people who made the game who work hard on it because i that's what we do <laughs> that's that's our jobs yeah like aside from that like i I do not like the way the game looks at all. I do not like any of the character designs. They all look very, very plain. Like, very generic and plain-looking, their faces, anyway. Um, the gameplay does not look fun to me. Like, when I first saw it, I, it did not look fun. It looked like a, a super on-rails game, which I do not like at all. Looks a little bit and better. That first reveal is terrible. Um, but it looks I, slightly better. <laughs> I, I just do not think it's... And and the voice the voice lines that they put in it like they it sounded so cringy like I I I'm not gonna buy that game I'm sorry. <laughs> well, thank you for your 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 honest take. Are you are you gonna get worse? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, I kind of agree with I agree a lot with insane cakes, but I don't hate it. I just kind of. After, like, the Insomniac Spider-Man game just kind of set such a high bar, I could tell this is, like, trying to get to it, but not really there. And it's, like, uh, again, is this, like, the way they're trying to explain the gameplay, then it being, like, oh, it's going to be, like, all multiplayer, and then you get to do these raids and stuff like that. It just kind of lowered my excitement even more and more, and it just seemed like... Uh, Something that'd probably be like if I were to rent it or something, I'd be like, okay, but it's not something that's gonna like it's not impressing me right away. And again, as I've stated before, I love being proven wrong. I really do. Please prove yeah. me wrong. Yeah. But I'm just like eh. Yeah, I'm pretty I mean, I was considering the game, but like I don't know now. <laughs> now you know the good I'm I'm kinda salty at the game right now. It's very easy to make me salty and uh <laughs> it, they did it so we'll see um the the last topic we got was uh the x cloud and, and the whole apple thing uh did you guys get a chance to check that out and, and see what's going on with that i skimmed <laughs> so it's um so it's basically like the x cloud hasn't come onto apple devices yet yeah so basically what's happening is microsoft is releasing x cloud um where you will be able to play uh, the games on the Game Pass and just, just the games on the Xbox in general, on your phone, on your tablet, on your your Game Boy Color, uh, anywhere you want, um, but except iOS because Apple is making it so um, because of their store policies, um, they're not allowing Microsoft to put xCloud on the iOS store. Um, it, it has it basically has something to do with uh oh how x cloud is in in beta and they don't they don't want any beta versions on their app and it was a couple other stuff um it was it's basically money money reasons apple um doesn't want to lose in the gaming market at all they have the apple gaming store uh that they're trying to promote and all this other stuff so microsoft is, is they're trying their best to put it on the ios Hey, that, that ran. Um, but uh, it's looking like it's going to be a while before that happens. Um, so what do you guys think about that? 
So. I think it is kind of weird that they haven't put it on Apple devices, not just because it's just um, like imagining this is sort of like. Uh, well, actually, sorry, I'm just like. So what they God, did, God first, they Look. did um, like uh, the the beta was on iOS, and then um, and now they can't do it <laughs> apparently. So it, mm. there's something going on behind the scenes with Apple, probably. Um, they just want to feel better about their androids. Yeah, I'm I'm not the biggest fan of Apple myself, um, company wise. I do think they're doing it for money, much like Sony's probably doing it with the Spider Man, keeping it on Sony only, so that people buy more PlayStation. Um, but they do, from what I've noticed from from uh, from iPhones compared to Androids, almost all the apps are are completely finished games or or applications they're never like oh this is something in process like yeah. it's not finished like you never really see that on the on the apple store which is probably why they're doing that as well yeah that's what i'm thinking um because uh apple released a statement i think it was on twitter or somewhere where you must adhere to our guidelines and no company is um you know no, no company is Every company has to follow their guidelines. Is pretty much what they're saying. Um, so we'll see. We will see. I think X Cloud is really cool. I got to try it. Um, I played some uh, some bug snacks on my phone. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it was. It's a really cool program. Uh, first, for some reason, I I tried out both Google Stadia and X Cloud, so I could kind of compare. Stadia was laggy as heck, and X Cloud was really smooth. So I don't know what hmm. magic they're doing over there with the servers, uh, but it, it it's it's just cool, you know. It's another option. People don't have to do it, but it's a nice option for people. They're sacrificing all the Xbox traders. Yeah. <laughs> uh, last thing I didn't put on on this list, but I it it happened this week, and me and uh, Will was also talking about this. Um, the controller, the whole controller, uh compatibility thing so let me uh send that to you guys so basically what's happening is the playstation 4 controller um will not work in the playstation 5 it, it it'll work in some cases so it'll work where playstation 5 games won't are not compatible with the ps4 controller but ps4 games are compatible on the PlayStation 5 with PS4? Did I say that right? I'm like twisting twisting my words. I think I got what you said. <laughs> like, uh, on the PS5, you basically can only play PS4 games with a PS4 controller. Um, so, uh, Will, uh, what do you think about that? Or... I'm sorry, I'm like... I'm just kind of distracted with other stuff. Godfall really took a lot out of me. But uh, I think it is... Um, it really depends on... The dogs are, like, getting onto each other now. I'm dog-sitting. But uh, basically, I'm not really sure how big the PS5 controller will do. I think it would have been better if it was just the PS5 controller just playing PS4 games. I don't know why it has to be the PS4 controller exclusively on that. Yeah. So that's kind of a little bit weird there. Although uh, I'd had to bring up to 3-bit that the Xbox 360 controllers weren't compatible with the Xbox One. So again, it's just one of those things I just kind of expected to happen. Like we didn't get PS2 to PS3 compatibility with controllers. Uh, we got like Wii and Wii U controller compatibility, but besides that, everything else has just been very different from each other. Yeah. Um, God, I hate and, you. <laughs> And this is just something I, I researched because uh, it is true. Like the 360 controller uh, didn't carry over. Um, something that's changed in this generation is that newer controllers are Bluetooth, right? So yep. uh, the PS5, the, the, PS, the PS4 controllers are, are Bluetooth. The Xbox One controllers are Bluetooth. Um, what's crazy is the X the X Cloud, right? Um, you can try out... Uh, <laughs> Mars, can you mute your mic really quick? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. And I'm going to feed these uh, 
guys real quick i am so sorry it's okay um so what's crazy is the the playstation uh oh, controller it works with x cloud so you can actually try out playstation 4 controllers on xbox which is crazy um but yeah going for clearly is this is a money thing it's not about compatibility uh because and you could see it in, in several cases because if you look at the, the article i sent you um the playstation 4 controller uh all the peripherals work so all the arcade sticks you got for your ps4 works saw your your flight sticks your arcade sticks all licensing license racing wheels all that stuff works on the on the playstation 4 or the playstation 5 uh yeah. if you're carrying it over but the the main controller doesn't work like you know that that That's doesn't make weird. much sense. <laughs> yeah that doesn't make much sense you know um they they clearly just want you to just you know shell some extra money and get that playstation 5 controller um so i see it as more of a money thing um but you know it's a business so i i expect them to do um <laughs> some stuff like this sometimes uh what do you think about it insane well i okay um i wanted to spend the extra money and get a scuff controller so i got a scuff controller <laughs> <laughs> that's like the biggest purchase I've spent in a long time yeah. uh, on something stupid totally worth it though I love that controller so reading that the DualShock 4 third official licensed third party gamepad controllers will work with support PS4 games it does not say that that will work with PS5 games unless it's considered more like one of, one of the specialty peripherals which god I hope it does because I'm not buying another one <laughs> That's the second <laughs> part, right? If you bought like a really expensive, nice PS4 controller, maybe it's not even the the official one, right? It may or may not work. Um, it's looking like most of it won't work for PS5 games. But what's it's just weird, right? Because if if you're playing a PS4 game on the PlayStation 5, then your controller works. But as soon as it you switch over to a PS5 game, it it doesn't work. Like that's just weird. <laughs> It might be um, what some of the games. St- uh, it says it says some, right? Not all PS5 games. Um, what you mean for the control, the PS4 controller for PS5? Yeah. Games? Um, no. Um, uh, it says right there. Will do shock. Will do shock four work with PS5 games? It says no. We believe that PS5 games should take advantage of the new capabilities. So, uh, have you played PS4? Do you have a PS4? Yeah, um, yeah, I got one. Okay, so I think I think there might be some things on the controller that they're not saying. Maybe because when the PS4 controller came out, it came out with the touchpad. It came out with the 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 cool the cool light that was um that's on that's supposed to be with the games, um and then the uh, the in controller speaker. And it did a lot of cool stuff. Like, you could do different things in different games. Like, Infamous Second Son, you could spray paint, which which I still think is cool. And you never get to see again in any other game. <laughs> yeah. um, they might be doing more stuff like that at the beginning. And I, that I feel like stuff that's might so just temporary, though. Like, it's cool, yeah. and I wish more games used it. Like, the 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 touchpad in, in Last of Us 2 was kind of cool with the guitar. Um yeah. And in some other game, like you were saying, in, in Infamous uh, Second Light, was that Second Light? Second Sun. Second, Second Sun. Sun. I mean, yeah. Um. So it's really cool in in those games, but it's it's like p- developers use it for a bit. They're like, okay, that was cool, and then they they stop using it, right? Um, and then the rest of the generation, they're just focused on it's 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 like a gimmick, and it it's gonna be good for some games for sure. Uh, but I don't know if it's worth a whole controller not work working for. Um, what I'm most looking forward to in the PS5 controller is the is the the triggers. That seems kind of cool. Where if you hold on the trigger, there's like tension apparently. Like it can actually give you tension in the trigger. 
Like that's pretty dang cool. It's got direct feedback triggers. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that. Um, it just kind of it just kind of sucks, you know. The PS4 controls won't work in PS5, but it's it's like people. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm kind of on the fence about it because of the fact that Xbox and Nintendo are kind of doing the opposite with their controllers. Um, hmm. All Xbox controllers go backwards and forwards which is weird like just imagine a ps5 controller that works on the ps4 <laughs> that's is it's kind of cool um but yeah that, that that's I, I i guess we'll have to see <laughs> how i feel about it right now i'm kind of on the fence about it because i i do think it's capable like they're bluetooth controllers now and that's why like going forward it's a little bit easier for microsoft but we'll just We'll just have to see. And I think Sony just is... I mean, whatever they're doing, they're, they're, it's making sense. They get a lot of money. They get more money than Nintendo and Xbox combined. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> All right. Um, well, I'm going to end it here. Uh, I think Worse was taking out his dogs. But I'm sure he's... Uh, <laughs> sad I'm back. Oh, he's back. They're eating. Um, they're not going to walk until I'm done eating. <laughs> Um. Oh yeah. Worse. Uh, what What do you think about that? Before we close out. Oh, uh, just get my headset set up so you don't hear me echo. Okay. Me, uh, what I think about what? Uh, the PlayStation Five controller, PS Four thing, uh, compatible compatibility thing. I don't know if you, how much you heard from our talk, but basically what I was saying is the the controllers, um, that are made now are pretty much bluetooth which is why it, it can uh pretty easily go over um like the xbox one controller is bluetooth and the series x controller is bluetooth and um that's sort of why it's it's easy to transfer transfer over and it's weird that the x cloud with the x cloud you can actually use the ps4 controller so it's like what the heck um i don't know what, what do you think about all that. I think the Bluetooth stuff's fine. I've seen like I've actually seen a friend of mine use a PS4 controller to play iPod or iPad games. I think it really depends on how the uh, how good the PS5 controller is to really warrant the different changes. I think it is kind of weird that you need a PS4 controller to play PS4 games on a PS5. And just all that stuff. I'm just kind of waiting to see how the controller works well. Yeah. And I do think that Blu-ray controllers will be definitely be good to like bridge a gap between that. So yeah. Anyway, these dogs are like wanting to go out and stuff <laughs> like that, and they're already causing some okay. trouble. So I'll let you get back to it. My last words are. Oh man, that was great. Oh, All right. man. So uh, I'll close the, the show out with the sponsor. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you. Uh, Bye, guys. See you guys. Do you remember seeing this advertisement? While the 4 bit energy drink is pretty tough, there's something out there that's even tougher. This summer, buckle up, because the 4-bit energy drink sucks compared to <laughs> the Abbey! Ever wanted to punch gravity in the face? Then buy the Abbey! Ever wanted to launch a go on the moon separating it from its entire family? Then buy the Abbey! Ever want to kill everyone's beloved character with our side product, the Golfinator, not including this product? Then buy the Abbey! This product does not actually exist. If it does exist, you can't have it because you're not free to it. Actually, I changed my mind. It does exist. If you subscribe to the video game, take your channel. If you're signing off, have a